Welcome to Devices Help and Support. Your ultimate destination for all things related to the devices setup, troubleshooting, and optimizing your tech experiences. In this video, we'll walk you through the step-by-step -step process of setting up the Pixlink WR22 Wi-Fi extender to boost your home's wireless signal. From connecting the extender to your network to configuring it for optimal performance, we cover everything you need to know. Follow along to enhance your Wi-Fi coverage and eliminate dead zones in your home or office. Firstly we start with the unboxing giving you the cleanest review of the product that what comes in the packet. Inside the Pixlink WR22 Wi-Fi extender box, you'll find the WR22 extender itself a quick start guide to help with the setup process, and a user manual with detailed instructions. Some packages may also include a network cable, Ethernet cable, for wired connections. The extender is compact and typically plugs directly into a power outlet. So let's start the setup process. Plug the WR22 into a power outlet near your router. Make sure it's within the range of your router's signal to ensure a strong initial connection. Wait for the power LED to turn on. If it doesn't light up, check the power supply or try another outlet. On your smartphone, tablet, or computer, go to the Wi Fi settings. Look for a network named something like Pixlink underscore XXXX or similar. This is the default Wi Fi network broadcast by the extender. Tap to connect to this network. No password is needed at this stage since it's the factory setting. Open a web browser on the device you just connected to the WR22's network. In the browser's address bar, type http colon slash slash 192.168.10.1 or http colon slash slash ap .setup and press enter. This will take you to the Pixlink configuration page. If this address doesn't work, ensure your device is connected to the Pixlink network and try again. You should now see a login screen. Use the default credentials, username, admin password, admin if these credentials don't work, check the label on the extender or the user manual for any variations. Some models may have different default credentials. After logging in, the extender will scan for available Wi-Fi networks. Select your home Wi-Fi network, the one you want to extend, from the list of available networks. You will then be asked to enter the password for your home Wi-Fi network. Make sure to enter this correctly, as an incorrect password will prevent the extender from connecting. Once connected to your home Wi-Fi, the extender will create an extended network using the same SSID, network name, as your router, but with a suffix like underscore ext or underscore plus added to it. You can change the name of this extended network if you wish, or leave it as is. After you finish the configuration, click apply or finish, this may vary by model. The extender will reboot. Once rebooted, it will automatically connect to your home network and start broadcasting the extended Wi-Fi signal. Now your reset process is complete. In case you face any type of difficulty, you are free to contact our professional experts at 1-323-507-3713. Our experts team will always guide you. Thank you so much to watching our video. And lastly don't forget to like share and subscribe our your YouTube channel devices help and support. Stay tuned for more updates.